guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm back with another Lush review. And this time I have the Dirty Styling Cream. Now this styling cream has been part of Lush's all year round product range for quite a few years now. I'm finally getting around to reviewing it for you. I'm sort of going through a stage where I'm reviewing a lot of the all year round products um, and catching up on some of the Mother's Day stuff as well. So if you're interested in that, feel free to stick around. So the ingredients or the main sort of ingredients of this styling cream, you've got linseed mucilage, you've got lemon balm infusion, Japan wax, uh, you've got extra virgin coconut oil, organic alipe butter, candelia wax, uh, fair trade organic cocoa butter, sandalwood oil, Siberian fir needle oil, Okamos Absolute and some other bits and pieces. So this is what the dirty styling cream looks like. As you can see, I have used not, not a lot, to be honest with you. It's quite a good value for money product in that way. Um, oh, and the smell is just excellent. So my thoughts on the scent of this product. Now, this is meant to be a part of the dirty... Uh, sort of scent family at Lush. It's quite a famous scent family. It's more sort of known as a scent family for men. Um, they are actually modeling a Father's Day collection this year uh, in 2021 after the dirty scent. So it is intentionally more of a male sort of scent, but this is fine for females as well. And I don't mind the dirty scent as a female scent either. It's kind of unisex in a way as well. Um, now, there is a difference in scent between this and, say, the Dirty Body Spray or the Perfume or the Bath Bomb or any other products like that. So this does not have the lavender in it. Um, it also, oh, what's the other thing it doesn't have? There's another sort of earthy note that it doesn't have in this. I can't think of it right now. Um, oh, and peppermint as well. That's another big one. So main, mainly the lavender and the peppermint are absent in this, which are the two sort of main things that you really notice with this. Um, the earthiness is totally fine in this product, so that's why I'm not really remembering what that earthy note was that's missing from this. But, um, oh, I think it's tarragon. Yeah, tarragon leaves. Yeah. Um, I think it was like tarragon leaf oil or something like that, which is not in here. There you go, got it. So it's more of an earthy, herbally note in this but like i said it does have the sandalwood which is something that is a key sort of scent in the dirty scent family and sandalwood is one of those scents characteristically um, and usually it is sort of a base note for scents either men's or female uh, or female uh, scents so you'll notice sandalwood comes up a lot in base notes same with vanilla but this doesn't have vanilla uh it's sort of like that beautiful smooth woodsy note that you get in perfume so it's a beautiful way to start a scent uh like i was saying the oak moss absolute now i'm not an oak moss fan whatsoever every lush perfume that i've ever smelt that has the oak moss in it i can't stand it unless it's got like a beautiful sweetness to it or something like that can't stand oak moss i'm not a fan um it is a very very strong earthy scent it's almost like a moist damp forest scent it's very intense. So if you're not into the intense earthy smells, might not be for you, but it's actually not too bad in this. So if you don't mind a little bit of an earthy scent, I think you'll be okay with this one. Uh, and it's also got the fir needle oil. So fir needle is sort of like a pine tree kind of thing. Um, so you will get that sort of piney note in this as well. Not super noticeable in this, but it does add to that earthiness um, as well. So overall my thoughts on the product is that the smell is definitely more leaning towards a male smell with the earthiness and the woodsiness there is almost like a cologne scent to it like a little bit of a cologne smell to it not sure where that's coming through i've sort of looked through the ingredients in my own time as well and i'm not seeing any reason why it would have that sort of cologne alcoholic kind of smell to it um but that quickly fades the actual sort of cologne scent of this product fades pretty quickly after applying it to your hair. Um, now, I did receive a su uh, suggestion from a subscriber to use this just to sort of coat the top of my hair and do get rid of flyaways and stuff like that, which is exactly what I did. I also used a little bit on the ends as well, um, sort of on days where I didn't care about 
the scent too much of what my hair smelt like and more just to control my hair and keep it going and under control and all that uh, oh excuse me so sorry sorry I'm really tired lately as many of you will know so I do apologize for that uh, yes yeah, so that was the suggestion my subscriber gave me and it's exactly how I did use it with um, using it to sort of secure flyaways down and stuff like that and it did a great job of that and this cream is one of those styling creams it's not like a styling gel where things are like set in place crunchy don't move that sort of thing this was complete opposite of it it's such an interesting product because it holds things in place but it doesn't feel crunchy and it doesn't feel stiff it's really interesting it's almost like it feels like a high-end um hair product you know like a product from Redken or Matrix or one of those really higher end brands of um, hair care uh, so yeah it I liked that aspect of it and I thought that the actual action of the product was really awesome in that way um, and I almost prefer this to R&B in terms of the way it works and the texture of the product is a lot more fluffy and mousse like almost like almost like a moussey kind of texture like a little bit denser than that but yeah, I prefer the texture of this over the R&B hair moisturizer, funnily enough, or the Revive. It's called Revive now. Uh, yeah, I'm rambling now, but you get what I mean. Uh, so it, it's kind of an interesting one. I wish this had the same scent as Revive because this would be my new favorite hair product 100%. Um, but yeah, the scent's not for me, but... I know many women who would use this and be like, I really don't care about the scent or I actually really love the scent. That's not me. It's just not my sort of um, scent, unfortunately. But do I enjoy this product? Of course, I really enjoy it. Um, and I think it, it does the job and it does what a lot of brands out there say that their product does, you know, or it holds in place without being crunchy, but it ends up being crunchy or it doesn't hold it solves those problems perfectly so it's definitely a five out of five product in my books even though the scent is just not for me i definitely still think it deserves a five out of five because it works beautifully um and yeah i definitely recommend purchasing it and giving it a try for yourself so thank you so much for watching this video i sincerely appreciate all the support i get on this channel please stay tuned for more lush reviews like this and until next time take care and i hope to see you again real soon Bye for now.